by thy mercy oh deliver us good lord by thy mercy oh deliver us good lord good lord this particular video wasn't planned uh, I received a letter from Pastor Dana in the mail notice up the top we the people and she is uh, where is it it's if you can see it uh, my declaration of independence from my enemies it's, uh, this is our declaration of independence from our enemies of poverty and sickness things like that material things but no surprise anyway this woman's lies just get under my skin if you haven't seen my other videos my grandmother died uh, in April of 2011 of breast cancer it was a terrible suffering she suffered in a way frankly that it's just impossible to understand unless you were there unless you've seen that kind of suffering it's difficult to relate I really just think it's beyond the minds comprehension to deal with that kind of thing but here's another letter she she wrote keep in mind as I said my grandmother's dead she died in 2011 but this woman is still receiving revelation about her as if she were alive she claims in the first paragraph this is why I continue to pray over your needs and requests as a prophetess I can feel when you need prayer support to bombard heaven now here pastor Dana is claiming extra biblical revelation as a prophetess regarding someone who is she thinks is alive but in truth is dead at home with the Lord now why would God give her revelation about somebody who's not alive anymore in truth this is a woman who is either involved in something demonic which I doubt or the reality she's just a liar she's just a charlatan she just preys on people that's what she does no other options here this is a woman who's a charlatan she states on page two there's a good bit in this little letter she states on page two check it out as I finished praying for you this morning the Lord gave me a faith vision to speak into your spirit during the faith vision I received it was as if you were right here with me and in this vision I saw the army of God forming a mighty prayer circle hmm something huh a mighty prayer circle think of that what's the problem well once again why would God give Pastor Dana a vision about somebody who's already dead someone she's claiming this person's as she's in the letter it's some sort of financial some sort of but she this person my grandmother and in, in this case needs their spiritual breakthrough needs their healing needs their miracle my grandmother didn't need anything like that anymore the Lord mercifully took her home she's not suffering anymore but pastor Dana is getting visions from God now let me ask you is she really getting visions or is she just lying because remember my grandmother's dead hmm. moving on here try and make this quicker than normal the one that really got to me I guess uh, was on page four She states this I see in the spirit where people have tried to take advantage of you in the past there have been some enemies and the camp the devourer has tried to destroy you yeah people have tried to take advantage of you I find that rather ironic here is a woman 
who, if you've seen her meetings, will look at someone who's suffering, cancer or whatever it may be, claim some sort of revelation. And what she's really doing is looking right into that person in the midst of their suffering and lying to them. That's what she's doing. She would have done it to my grandmother if she got a chance. I see in the spirit where people have tried to take advantage of you. In the middle of trying to contact the media or lawyers, the truth is when it comes to Dana Muldoon, it's just legal to say what you want. And that's it's a good thing, I guess. It's a free country. But the point here is, it's legal to be a scumbag. It's legal to lie to people and take advantage of them, their suffering, I guess. It's just legal. It's immoral. It means you're a charlatan and a scumbag. But apparently it's legal. I was reading through here. Something I did miss here as I'm flipping through the letter. On page three, she states, I see things in the spirit about you. Really? Why is God giving you these revelations about a woman who is dead? As the truth is, you're not getting revelations. You're a liar. That's what you are. You have no problem taking advantage of people. It's sad. It makes me angry. I'm the one who watched her suffering. I'm the one who heard the screaming. I'm the one who, at the end of her days, it seems as if she really was going out of her mind. She was in so much suffering. The hallucinations and everything. And for somebody to come along and look right in her eye, claiming divine revelation when she's not getting any, and that you would get your healing, I can barely contain myself. It just pisses me off. What do you do? One day God will judge. Dana Muldoon, and I pray he has mercy on her before then. But if she does not turn and repent, she will face the Lord's wrath, as all those who are without Christ. But to look at someone, claim healing. There's nothing in this about grace. This is all works. You do this, you get this. That's all this letter is. Besides being, it's nothing of grace. No mention of grace at all. She mentions about my grandmother getting financial help. My grandmother didn't have financial problems. This is just a woman who writes out a letter knowing full well some people are going to just, they're so desperate, they're going to believe it. It's, what do you say, you know? My Declaration of Independence. <sighs> I long for the day when I get my Declaration of Independence from women and charlatans and liars like Dana Muldoon. If you are involved in her ministry, get out. Flee from her. She's a wicked, wicked woman. Till next time, take care.